What is up YouTube? I'm Casey with bestinvestingapps.com and today I'm going to be introducing you to an awesome historical stock market data website called Multiple. It's one of my favorites. It's a little bit underknown and I want to share it with you. I also want to thank everybody for the great subscriber growth that we have seen. We totally crushed 100 subscribers yesterday and the growth has been spectacular recently. So thanks everybody and I hope to keep making great videos to pay you back for your kindness. Multiple is a web only site. I'm sure you can pull it up on your phone if you really want to, but there's a lot of data going on here. It's multpl.com. And when you get to multiple.com, you're basically going to be looking at a huge database of historical stock market data from the US and around the world. You can see here on the right hand side, we have world economic data and then we have US data here on the left. It can be a little overwhelming, so you kind of need to know what you're looking for. Um, but we can find all sorts of fun stuff like consumer price index or gross domestic product. We can look at the PE ratio of the S&P 500 over time. It's really well put together and each of the statistics and piece of data, they all have table values and you can just highlight these and toss them right into an Excel spreadsheet if you wanna do analysis yourself, which I end up doing quite a bit. The beauty of using multiple is that you can find data here that's well organized and already displayed for you over long historical periods where some of this data would be hard to find and conglomerate or just take a lot of time elsewhere. So I can come in here and I can find the one year treasury rate. It's already graphed out over a long time horizon. I can really see what recent changes by the Fed are doing to this rate. Um, we can come back through and I can look at, I used it recently to compare the S&P PE ratio. Um, so I, I just came in and started looking at US economic stats or S&P 500 stats, excuse me, find the PE ratio. Boom, here it is. Come over to the table. I can grab all the data out of the table, take it over to Excel and analyze it. And it's right here. I have yet to find any data that's incorrect or inaccurate. It's pretty much up to date all the time and it's just well done. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's totally free. There are no accounts, the data is just out there for you to use. I find that this site is helpful for kind of testing my curiosities. I like to come in and I'll look at macroeconomic trends and their effects during certain times like the Great Recession and the tech bubble. So I can come in here and I can look at the S&P 500 dividend growth and I can see that during um, or slightly after the tech bubble burst in early 2000s, there was a big negative dip here in dividends and after the uh, Great Recession here, we had a big negative dip in dividend growth as well. Um, so maybe I want to grab that data. I want to do a little more analysis. I want to compare it to some other factors, create a trading strategy based on that or create some kind of investment strategy based on that. I enjoy doing that. I think that macroeconomic trends are really important for us to all keep an eye on. Um, of course, do a little bit of research and make sure that you're comparing things that actually make sense. Don't just come in here and start grabbing numbers and like coming up with formulas that, that don't really work. But if you need the data, most of it's here and it's well put together. So just type in multpl.com or check the show notes below. I'll have a link to multiple and Right up here at the top, there's a button that says more, and that will bring you to the big list of all of this different data. And you can start to poke around and look at it, see what it looks like, start to get curious about what it might mean or how you could use it. Of course, I'm always giving away free copies of my ebook, Invest, Three Easy Steps to Get Started Investing. Check the show notes below for that, and we'll see you next time.